Welcome to this tutorial on model-based design for quadcopter autopilot. From concept to prototype. Quadcopters, also known as multi-copter vehicles, are gaining significant attention across a wide range of industries due to their versatility, agility, and ability to operate in complex environments. They are extensively used in research for exploring new control algorithms and automation techniques. In the energy sector, they play a crucial role in wind turbine inspection, enabling efficient and safe assessments of hard-to-reach structures. In logistics, companies are increasingly investing in quadcopter-based package delivery systems to enhance last-mile delivery efficiency. Emergency services utilize quadcopters for firefighting and search and rescue missions, providing real-time aerial surveillance in hazardous situations. Additionally, they are transforming the entertainment industry with synchronized drone light shows, creating mesmerizing visual displays. As advancements in autonomy and battery technology continue, quadcopters are also emerging as a promising solution for urban air mobility, shaping the future of transportation. The autopilot of a quadcopter plays a crucial role in enabling these applications by providing essential functions for autonomous operation. It stabilizes the vehicle against turbulence and external disturbances, ensuring smooth and controlled flight. It also enables precise navigation, allowing the quadcopter to travel from point A to point B while following a predefined path. Additionally, the autopilot manages mission execution, ensuring that the vehicle completes assigned tasks such as package delivery, inspection, or surveillance with minimal human intervention. Developing an autopilot using model-based design leverages models and simulations to streamline development workflow. It provides a powerful platform for designing, validating, and refining control algorithms before deploying them on hardware. This methodology enables rapid prototyping, early detection of design errors, and systematic testing under various conditions, significantly accelerating the development cycle while improving reliability and performance. This tutorial consists of 11 sessions, covering the development of a quadcopter autopilot using model-based design. Here is the outline. First, we begin with an introduction to quadcopter and model-based design. Next, we move on to autopilot functional requirements, defining key functionalities and performance expectations. Next is the autopilot system architecture, including control loops and software components. From the fourth session, we focus on modeling. First, we explore modeling flight dynamics and physical systems, simulating quadcopter aerodynamics, motor, propeller, and battery. Next, we move on to modeling environments and 3D simulation, creating realistic simulation environments for testing. Last but not least, modeling sensors. We demonstrate simulating IMUs, GPS, camera, LIDAR, radar, and other onboard sensors. From the seventh session, we focus on algorithm design. We begin with flight control law design, developing control algorithms for stabilization and trajectory tracking. Next, we discuss flight management design, implementing flight modes transition logics and input signal processing. To move on, we will explore sensor fusion, combining sensor data for accurate state estimation and navigation. From the tenth session, we focus on validation and verification. We begin with requirements and system validation. Validating requirements and system design are correct and complete. In the final session, we showcase how to perform requirements-based testing, verifying that the design meets functional requirements. Let's begin with the first session, Introduction to Quadcopters and Model-Based Design. Multi-copters come in various airframe types. While the quadcopter is the most common, other types include hexacopters, octocopters, and their variations. In this tutorial, we will focus specifically on quadcopters. The airframe of a quadcopter consists of several key components. To simplify, it includes the body, which houses onboard electronics and payload. Extending from the body are four arms, each supporting a propeller, two rotating clockwise and two counterclockwise. Additionally, the airframe includes landing gear.
A quadcopter system comprises four motors, an electronic speed controller, ESC, an autopilot controller, a GPS module, a remote controller, RC, a ground control station, GCS, and a battery. The propellers of a quadcopter are labeled numerically as 1, 2, 3, and 4. Describing a quadcopter's maneuvers requires multiple coordinate systems. One essential system is the body coordinates, where the x-axis points forward, the y-axis extends to the right, and the z-axis points downward through the bottom of the vehicle. Another essential coordinate system is the north-east-down NED frame, where the x-axis points north, the y-axis extends east, and the z-axis points downward. A quadcopter controls its motion by varying the speed of its four propellers. These adjustments create changes in thrust, allowing the drone to move in different directions. To control the quadcopter ascend or descend, increase or decrease the speed of all propellers. If the thrust equals gravity, the quadcopter hovers. To control the quadcopter to roll right, increase the speed of the left side propellers and decrease the speed of the right side propellers. To roll left, do the opposite. To control the quadcopter to pitch backward, increase the speed of the front propellers and decrease the speed of the rear propellers. To pitch forward, do the opposite. Yaw controls the rotation around the Z down axis. In a standard quadcopter, two propellers spin clockwise and two spin counterclockwise to balance torque. To rotate right, decrease the speed of the clockwise propellers and increase the speed of the counterclockwise propellers. To rotate left, do the opposite. A quadcopter is an underactuated system because it has fewer independent control inputs than degrees of freedom it needs to control. A quadcopter operates in six degrees of freedom, the translational motion in X, Y, and Z axis, and the rotational motions of roll, pitch, and yaw. However, the quadcopter only has four independent control inputs, the speeds of its four propellers. This means the system has six degrees of freedom but only four control inputs, making it underactuated. It cannot directly control all degrees of freedom independently. As a result, a quadcopter cannot generate independent lateral XY motion directly. Instead, it must tilt, roll, or pitch to create horizontal movement. This is why control design for quadcopters is an essential part, especially when developing autonomous flight controllers. It relies on complex control algorithms, for example, PID, nonlinear control, model predictive control, to stabilize and move efficiently. Developing the autopilot of a quadcopter presents several challenges due to its underactuated nature, aerodynamics, and control complexities. The key challenges include stability and control, sensor fusion and state estimation, power management and battery life, communication and control latency, navigation and obstacle avoidance, regulatory safety compliance, and its software complexity. In the following minutes, we will outline three key challenges at a high level and illustrate how model-based design can help address them. Challenge number one, expensive flight tests. One of the major challenges in quadcopter development is the high cost, time consumption, and risks associated with real-world flight testing. Setting up flight tests is time-consuming and identifying and fixing control issues takes multiple iterations. Autonomous flight has a high risk of crashes, especially in early development. Specifically, fail-safe tests like emergency landing or return to home must be tested carefully. Challenge number two, final product does not fulfill expectations. There is often a gap from concept design to the final product. Many drone projects fail to meet expectations because of over-optimistic assumptions, 
integration difficulties, and real-world constraints. Challenge number three, safety and airworthiness. One of the major challenges in quadcopter development is ensuring safety and airworthiness, especially when deploying drones for commercial, industrial, or autonomous applications. Airworthiness refers to a drone's ability to operate reliably and safely under real-world conditions while complying with aviation regulations. The quadcopter systems are prone to sensor failures, motor malfunctions, and communication losses. Some other considerations include collision risk and obstacle avoidance, battery and power safety, and cybersecurity risks. Developing a quadcopter autopilot requires fast iteration, rigorous testing, and safety validation. Model-based design accelerates quadcopter autopilot development by enabling simulation-driven design, which includes desktop system design and simulation, software design and simulation, automated code generation, software unit testing and integration testing in real time. Model-based design also ensures safety and reliability through formal verification and safety validation. Here shows more insights. Errors introduced in the early phases of the development, such as during specification and design, can have significant long-term consequences if not detected early. These errors often stem from misunderstandings or incomplete requirements, incorrect assumptions, or poor communication between stakeholders. In traditional development methods, errors tend to be detected more often during the implementation and testing phases rather than the earlier specification and design phases. This happens because traditional workflows often prioritize coding first, and issues in requirements or design may only become apparent when the system is being implemented or tested. However, detecting errors late in the development cycle is costly and time-consuming. Fixing a requirement or design flaw after implementation may require significant rework, leading to delays and higher costs. Model-based design helps mitigate this problem by shifting left, shifting earlier, enabling early validation of specifications and designs through simulation, formal verification, and rapid prototyping. By detecting errors in the early phases, model-based design reduces late-stage failures and improves overall development efficiency. Going back to the V model, model-based design provides a structured approach for developing a quadcopter autopilot by enabling simulation, automatic code generation, and systematic testing at different stages of development, including desktop system design and simulation, which defines the overall system architecture and simulating the behavior of the quadcopter, software design and simulation, which adds embedded software design details, code generation. The generated code can be deployed directly to embedded platforms or middleware such as ROS2, software unit testing, which ensures each individual software component function correctly before system integration. System integration testing. At this final stage, the complete software is integrated with hardware and tested in real-world scenarios. Model-based design enables fast iterations in early phase by allowing early validation, automated code generation, and systematic testing. This approach reduces development time, enhances reliability, and minimizes costly late-stage errors. Revisiting challenge number one, expensive flight tests. With model-based design, we can perform extensive virtual testing in a simulated environment before conducting real-world flights. This approach allows us to identify and resolve issues early, optimize control algorithms, and reduce the need for costly physical tests, ultimately saving time and resources. Revisiting challenge number two, final product does not fulfill expectations. This issue often arises due to improper specifications or incorrect system design or implementation. With model-based design, we can validate specifications early in the development process and verify the implementation at each stage, ensuring the requirements are correct and complete, and the final product aligns with requirements and performs as expected. Revisiting challenge number three, safety and airworthiness. With model-based design, we can ensure compliance with industry standards, which is critical for autopilot systems. 
We can systematically manage requirements and the traceability, conduct dynamic tests, analyze test coverage for both the model and generated code, and perform static code analysis. This approach enhances reliability, safety, and regulatory compliance. All right, let's wrap up this session. We covered the airframe and electronic systems of a quadcopter, its maneuvers and coordinate systems. Additionally, we explored model-based design and how it helps overcome the challenges of quadcopter development. I hope this session provided you with a clear understanding of these concepts. In the next session, we will explore the functional requirements of the autopilot. I look forward to your participation.